I get asked all the time by fans to attempt a two-player Nuzlocke with one of my friends, and I think the interest in this kind of playthrough really comes from the most recent Jaden Animations Pokemon video. I've never watched that video, so today, that's gonna change, and if you guys somehow have not seen that video, please go and support that before watching this, but let's get into it. You know the drill at this point. Pokemon faints, yeah. it dies. Catch one Pokemon per route and nickname it to set up for emotional trauma. Wait. <laughs> what the was that nickname? Point. Pokemon faints, it dies. Catch one Pokemon per route. That's a fantastic nickname. We're not skipping over one of the greatest nicknames I've seen. Begooblio. <laughs> and nickname it to set up for emotional trauma. But this oh. time we're doing something a bit Spicublio. different. A two-person Nuzlocke. It's yeah. technically called a Soul Link, but well, no one knows what that means. So basically you, you and person two play the same Pokemon game at the same mm -hmm. time following the same Nuzlocke rules. However, your Pokemon are linked, which means if my starter dies, player two's starter also dies and they oh. can't do anything about it. Plus, we can only have one primary typing for both of our teams mm -hmm. combined. So if I catch a water type and add it to my team, person two can't have a water type at all on theirs. I actually forgot about that rule. It's been way too long since I've even thought about soul links. That is one of the more interesting rules because I mean, one person's team could be wildly in balance if the other person has the best cores. And cherry on top, all Pokemon are randomized. I can walk into the grass at any point and accidentally find God. <laughs> and maybe he'll just kill all my animals right then and there. So with all these new rules Not in place, ideal. I needed to find a player too. One who's a real Pokemon master, able to adapt, improvise, okay. and strategize all at the drop of a hat. And who else other than Pokemon master himself? Jacob Alpharad who at this point in time has a 50-50 Nuzlocke win ratio. Here's well, our Pokemon Heart it's not Gold, zero. Soul Silver, Soul Link Nuzlocke. We both go... There's a reason those titles don't do as well as I attempted a two-player Nuzlocke. Nuzlocke still, a word that's gotten popular. It's the combination of Nuzleaf and John Locke from Lost. It confuses a lot of people when they find that out. Go downstairs, barely greet our mom, and immediately beeline it to Professor Elm's lab to see what Pokemon he's got for us, because we don't know. They're random. In case Fair. you forgot what I just said, we stroll up to him and he pats Jacob on Ooh, the I head. I actually am goes, excited to see what starters they got. from these three. I picked them specially for you. Torterra, Tentacruel, or Ludicolo. Wow. All right. What do I get? Those are incredible. Why not Mankey Ariadus? <laughs> awesome. Jacob takes Torterra and I take Mankey and we name them Franklin. On our way to talk to Mr. Pokemon, Jacob runs into a Reggie Rock in a random patch wow. of grass, which just flat out explodes on him. No one died, luckily, but also, Ooh. oh my God, we get an egg and immediately- that was lucky because I'm pretty sure Gen 4 is still a generation where explosion, I think it would like half defenses the Pokemon it was going against so it was even more powerful. Also, Torterra linked with Mankey just seems ridiculous early on. Immediately, Professor Elm calls and tells us he's been robbed and bullied. Oh no. You really couldn't handle being alone for 10 minutes, could you? On our way back to help a grown adult, we stumble onto a shady figure who scoffs, challenges I've heard us to about a battle this. with Pokemon he stole from Elm, which we immediately win, scoffs again, then drops his wallet, passport, credit card, driver's license, social security, <laughs> target gift card on the ground in front of us for the world to see. Dude, get your craps together. You can't be doing that when you're a wanted fugitive. Back in the lab, Elm is crying on the floor as the police and our neighbor are trying to comfort him. And the police asks us if we saw anyone suspicious. Yes, we saw his info. Now here we get to name our rival. Jacob and I try to think of someone that we both shared mm -hmm. some sort of rivalry with. When mm -hmm. we remembered a certain professional Pokemon Nuzlocke has been consistently reacting and critiquing our Nuzlocke so far, some of his comments were more critical than others <laughs> and directed at one of us more than the other. Mr. Policeman, his name is Jan. Hi, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that reveal when it first showed up and when it didn't happen I'm like oh maybe I forgot but no this is what I heard a lot about pretty cool to see the uh, the cameo for uh, Jan in the in the video but that is that is a ridiculous looking mashup <laughs> I was not expecting his facial features and then the rival's hair to stay the same. I think I'm here for it though. Let's see if you can destroy us from the inside out. Anyway, our neighbor takes us out to some grass to show us how to catch a Pokemon, runs into Articuno, catches wow. it in a Pokeball in the green and turns to us and goes, see, just like that. <laughs> They give us some Pokeballs and we can finally start Ooh, our journey. Right. We both now run it around begins. in the grass and our first encounters are Barboach and Houndoom. Oh. This would have been awesome for Jacob if he could catch the dang thing. No. Since we only had Pokeballs, Houndoom was not getting in the ball oh. no matter what. And we ended up not getting that pair. That's but you know, tough. it's all right. There's plenty more encounters like Hop It Farfetch. 
that Jacob accidentally kills. Or Giudu <laughs> Gyarados that Jacob accidentally kills. What? Or Tyro Charizard that Jacob accidentally kills. <laughs> hey, why do I get this? And Jacob gets all this. And why do you keep killing him, Jacob? But finally, in the ruins of Alf, we managed- What? <laughs> I'm happy there's no context because it's so much funnier trying to imagine what could have happened early game that took those three out. Wow. <laughs> Catch a new pair. Sand slash camera up. Not bad okay. at all. We tried Wait. to name them Michael, but both misspell it. So welcome to the team, Michels. Then on Route 32. That is too many four times weaknesses for a man who just uh, slaughtered three straight Pokemon. That is terrifying in a randomized Nuzlocke. We catch Totodile Beedrill, which is also pretty good, mainly for well, just me. We started yes. combining the two Pokemon to create their names, so we ended up somehow with Bedrodo. We ran into a trainer who had a freaking Palkia name. on his team. Oof. Fun fact, did you know if you Google Palkia type weakness, Google will tell you that he's weak to fairy and Salamence? No Wait. other dragons, just Salamence. So huh. Jacob and I started joking around every time we saw a Palkia. Oh no, if only I had a Salamence. Uh-oh, don't have a Salamence over here. It was kind of strange how many Palkias we ran into, but that didn't stop us from bullying every single one. So we take on- <laughs> The animation absolutely makes up for it. Those are the types of inside jokes you have with a friend that like, way funnier to you than anyone else does anyone else understand no could i make a video like this and explain it in a funny way to an audience no <laughs> so i appreciate that faulkner the first gym leader who has Hi. kyogre bronzar what? and metagross dragonair oh my god after a lot of difficulty wow. we both managed to beat him with no casualties i don't know how, how that happened but hey everyone's all right oh he's gonna take himself out <laughs> Oh my Ooh. god! How about some encounters to lighten the mood? Oh, Hi. Hello, Shuckle Suicune. Whoa. That Jacob accidentally kills. In Azalea no. Town, we challenge Bugsy, who luckily wasn't as stacked as Faulkner. Oh, is he accidentally killing them in battle before catching them? Because that makes more sense. I thought he was catching them and then killing them immediately. He's just not... Ca I I'm slow. I caught up. And as we step outside, Jan, who is surprised we haven't been demolished yet. Yeah, I'm surprised too. Challenges us to a battle, <laughs> which we also win. <laughs> we run into Ma Wild Deoxys in Ooh. the forest, who someone accidentally kills, and make our way to Goldenrod, <laughs> where there's a security guard that'll give us both a Pokemon. He hands me a Porygon too, which Ooh. I'm ecstatic about. Yeah, that's awesome. Turns to Jacob. No and normal gives him type. Reggie Gigas. Yep. So you can't use Which it. Which we can't use because yep. they're both normal types. Damn. Of all the legends you had to get, of course you get the only normal type besides actual God. We wow. beat Whitney and in the National That's Park brutal. find Piplup Flaffy, which we named Plap. I pitched to Jacob that I'm willing to trade the Bedrodas to make room for this new pair. So mm. he essentially switches Beedrill with Flaffy, which we shake on. That's one of the most fun parts of a Soul Link. Or the worst part. I get these good Pokemon, but you also get to upgrade this Pokemon. I swear it's going to be worth it. <laughs> negotiations to try to make your sad roster better because you're the person you're working with has the best pokemon in all of the pairs i don't know it's a very fun unique experience doing these welcome to the team plaps and then my plap immediately almost gets killed oh whew. all right yeah, yeah, yeah. Jaden. i'll fix it i'll fix it <laughs> <laughs> My bad. We find Dragonair <laughs> Shuppet, which is an actually insane huh. pair we could use right away. It's pretty cool. But oh. yeah, I ended up killing that one. Look, I'm sorry, Jacob. It is harder than it looks to catch these things. We pour water on the strange trees on Route 36 that actually Ooh. turn out to be Cradily Silcoon. Huh. We kind of named them Dilly Doo and could have added them to the team as death fodder, but we ended up forgetting to. Which is, yeah, a pretty silly mistake, but what's the yeah. worst that could happen? Uh -oh. Who needs death fodder in a Nuzlocke? Uh -oh. Jacob and I make it to Ekritik and walk into the burn tower. As we were about to go down there, Jan runs up and is like, you're only trying to catch Suicune to make yourselves look stronger than you actually are. And we're like, no, we can Killed him a while ago, but he still <laughs> wanted to battle, probably to show off the Mew he somehow found. Wow. We beat him yet again, go downstairs, scare off the dogs, and go challenge Morty. Jacob didn't right. have any trouble for the team Morty had for him, but for me, I was having a bit of a harder time because 
he had a Lugia. The trainers have crazy Pokemon. Like every single one of these battles. It's kind of insane. It is one of those things where early in a Nuzlocke, the trainers could be ridiculous. You get to the Elite Four and it's just a Caterpie that you have to stomp on. But man, that's also not the team for Lugia. My God. Which neither me nor my team could even handle. All I could do was bubble beam it with Plap and pray I don't get crit one shot as Jacob just sits there watching. But it ended up working out. We arrived wow. in Olivine and climbed the giant lighthouse. Impressive. Almost falling to our literal death along the way. Reach Jasmine at the top, who's like, climb back down and go get medicine for Amphi and Cianwood. And we were like, we almost died getting here. Surfing to Cianwood, we encountered Obama Snow Pupitar. Ooh. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, we did catch the wow. Obamatar joined the team immediately, <laughs> and suddenly we've got a pretty powerful yeah. lineup going on. Wow. Also, a random guy in town gifted us a Mewtwo and Weeping Bell. Finally! I'm the one with the legend now. But we had to box him because we couldn't have two grass types. <clears throat> All of this sudden mm -hmm. shared luck combined with our zero death win streak got us feeling pretty confident, which naturally means it's time to get kicked in the throat. Fair. Specifically by a black belt martial artist. Jim okay. Chuck was indescribably tough in the most bullcrap way possible. Sure. For me, Jacob had no trouble oh. at all because he's Jacob. He had a Kingdra, which I brought Obamatar out for. Ooh. Nothing else on my team could really do anything. Kingdra not having any weaknesses at this point because there's no fairies in the game. It's one of the sneaky, toughest Pokemon to go against. It's when you really realize how much you rely on super effective moves and playthroughs. Well, I guess it is weak to dragon. I was being a dumb dumb, but she does not have dragon against it. The main drawback of this is Obamatar's snow warning ability, which creates hail damaging every Pokemon, including my own. That's mm -hmm. not an ice type, which is pretty inconvenient in a Nuzlocke. I even made a, a teeny tiny comment about it when I first got him. I can, I can I'm going to call it snow is going to kill one of my Pokemon. Kingdra goes down and Chuck's Ooh. only other Pokemon. He's only got two is Frostlass. Who, if you don't know, with evasion. Snowcloak, Snowcloak oh, makes that's... the Pokemon 20% harder no. to hit if there's hail. You want to know oh. how many Pokemon in Gen 4 have this ability? Five. Three of which being Mamoswine. You want to know how many Pokemon there are in Heart Gold Soul Silver? 493. Now, I know these odds sound pretty awful already, but you know what this Frostlass does? She Double uses team? Ominous Wind. Oh, ominous okay. Wind has a 10% chance to boost that's even every worse. single stat of the user. She gets the stat boost twice in a row. After a lot of strategizing, we both decided the best option for us would be to send in Mychil as death fodder to heal up Plap because he's the only wow. one that can really do anything at this point. And what happens? Please don't get another. No boost. way. There's no he's way she, the so third good. boost no, and she no. still wins. Oh my cross last crit one shots oh. Mychil as soon as he comes out. Oh, no healing. Our first deaths. Poor camera up. He was so proud wow. for making it out of Jack's gym and then just falls over dead for no reason. I got Plap healed up and basically okay. started heal stalling, which sure isn't a noble strategy, but <laughs> d d d uh, come on. After literally struggling against my own bad luck for what felt like hours, finally, Frostlass goes down. That is the thing. I, I know it's gotten way more popular to do Nuzlocke's without any items in battle. And it's fair, items in battle can, you know, really cheese some of the more difficult battles. But sometimes you get to a point like this, especially doing a soul link with someone else. There should be exceptions in some soul links where well, Plap needs to get the job done. Uh, Plap needs to drink all of the potions. It's justified. I'm here for it. There are so many more Pokemon in the PC than I expected. There's a Mamoswine. I have heard nothing about it. I actually am kind of blown away with how many Pokemon are in the box, but it makes sense. You, you got to move things along. Like right now, John, shut up. Finally. Success. Holy <laughs> shit. Jacob practically drags me out of the gym and we head to the BC. <laughs> we decided to add a pair we caught back on Route huh? 35, which was Charmeleon Dawn fan named Ooh, Darfell. A fantastic duo. I do I love that. And I think justifiably still really salty about what we just went through. But Jacob convinced me that we should just move on. We got our Darfells leveled up and returned to Olivine to feed Amphi the medicine that we picked up so Jasmine <laughs> would finally do her job. And check this out. Already done. <laughs> You're right. Oh my god. Look at no all your screen way. real quick. <laughs> nah, it's all right. 
She also had a Geoxys. We headed to Mahogany Town, catching and adding Nidoran and Beryl, named Beryl to the team. And that in is the insanely Lake of Rage, bad Jacob luck. Jacob caught a Kyogre paired with my Swalot. We never used this pair, but I just wanted to mention it for reasons. We approached the glistening shadow of the Lake uh, Beast. Oh, I've heard about this too. Activate the encounter and find a shiny Baneerian Dawn fan. <gasps> Not, you know, the best, but hey, free shiny Pokemon. Doesn't hurt to cat. <laughs> Oop, I killed it. That's again, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. Lance walks up to us. And <laughs> Rip Chad. And goes, hi, I'm Lance. Grabs oh, us man. by the wrist, kicks down the door to the Mahogany Town 7-Eleven, kills one of the guys in there, and runs into the rocket hideout where he continues to wipe out any living organism he finds down there. Classic Lance. We decided to <laughs> copy him and beat up all the executives and their power generator. Right before we fly to Goldenrod, we pick up the seventh badge and then continue curb stomping Team Rocket. We're I know this is uh, the coolest take I've ever thrown out there. Not a hot take in any way, shape, or form. These videos are so good. I, I just really love the difference in the pacing. Sometimes we show the encounters and talk about them. Sometimes you move past it. Sometimes it's a little bit a longer explanation. Sometimes it's just a funny joke to, to move the story along. Just going in and out of the actual Pokemon gameplay and like the step-by-step -step what's happening with just jokes and incredible animations. It's it's one of a kind for a reason. And uh, I really need to start watching these sooner. I don't know why I wait so long to watch them because this is incredible. We're getting a bit too comfy though. And as Jacob wasn't paying attention, mainly because he just got a chicken sandwich, Obamatar oh. was killed by a Golan's oh, earthquake. Oh, when he was using Dig? Oh no. That was a really bad blow and Ugh. stung much more because we weren't paying attention. But we did have to move on. What kind of chicken sandwich since though? We were literally in the middle of a gang fight. We shoved our way to Rocket Executive and Big Boss Archer and gave mm -hmm. him a bit of a throat chop so he would calm down and stop doing whatever it is he was doing. And everyone is saved. On our way to nice. Blackthorn, we catch Frostlass Corfish, which put me into a vengeful trauma spiral. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> you <laughs> and then jacob caught himself both a suicune and an az elf we arrived and took on claire who led is he the luckiest man to ever walk the earth what is going on <laughs> kind of crazy with a mewtwo against me which at this point i shouldn't even be surprised but nah. all the rest of our team was pretty much a pushover for both of us it right. was a bad sport and refused to think we were good trainers so we talked to the old man behind the gym and he's like so do you beat your pokemon and we we're like, no. And he's like, awesome. Claire, give him the stupid badge. What? So now we can head to the Elite Four. Hey guys, I think you should go fight a horde of Asian women in Ecritique. Uh, so we enter the Ecritique Theater and start fighting the women. And the second girl for me sends out Ambipom. I don't think I ever remember the Order of Heart Gold Soul Silver like I should. I thought you did this. I always think you do this earlier than you do it. I'm pretty sure in a recent Hardcore Nuzlocke, this is where I lost the Hardcore Nuzlocke now that I'm using my brain. Can't you like not heal while fighting the Camino girls? Like one after another you can't heal? Didn't know that. Got bad news, you're locked in. Oh, wow. Well, I guess we lost. I would like to block this out. <laughs> As I switch to Frank, it screeched, which I Ooh, it, it <clears throat> forgot didn't pay about, attention to. didn't see, and yeah. Ambipom double hit killed Franklin. Our starters no. died. Dude, that was really sad. Oof. We were about to make it to the Elite Four with them, and bam, Oof. not alive anymore. They were with us through everything, <laughs> pretty much the backbone to our teams. Man. Jan's gonna make so much fun of us when he finds out. As we're still mourning, the last kimono girl rest spams with Waylord. Do you have any dignity, woman? We're lamenting over here. We try to leave and the girls are all, no, no, go catch the legendary Pokemon. Ooh. He's already got three. So I head well, to Whirl Islands and Jacob scales the bell tower. And worth what it legends still. do we find? The legendary Zangoose and Loudred. Oh. Oh, they didn't keep it so that legendaries would be randomized to legendaries. Would have been a pretty cool moment to go from losing starters to getting the legendaries they deserve, but now more excited for the Elite Four. Finally, we have some freedom again. And as soon as we touch the water uh. in Newbark to head to Victory Road, what pops up from the bottom of the lake, but Entei himself. Ooh, that makes no and sense. And Oh my God. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Hello, Dode. 
That's going in the box because fire types. We catch oh. Cascoon Reggie Rock in Victory Road, and heading towards the exit, Jan sprints up from behind us, and I iconically say, this is your last chance to kill one of our Pokemon, Jan. And what happens? Oh no, my God. not counter. <laughs> no. Oh, oh man. Oh. That's not great. Oh, he killed one of our Pokemon. Wow. Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. Darfell was an incredible pair we've had since the fifth gym and we really grew to lean on. We lost quite literally half our team right before the Elite Four. Shiny Dawn fan or? Oh, actually no, they, they killed that pair. Entei, <laughs> pretty good maybe, huh? Or Mm. We beat Jan for the last time, enter the Indigo Plateau, and immediately bolt to the PC to see what kind of damage control we can do. Yep. After a very long time of trying to mm. stitch together the best teams possible, we ended up with this. Ampharos and Polion, okay. the Barrel Nidoqueen, Ooh, Beautifly okay. Cradley, Dodrio Entei, mm -hmm. and Victory Bell Mewtwo. I know, I know. Wow, Jaden, super balanced. You've got Mewtwo and Entei and Jacob has a Beautifly. Look, I, this is the best we could do, I promise. Tell him, Jake. That is an insane Elite Four team. Ampharos, incredibly good. Uh, I love using it in playthroughs. Dodrio Victory Bell, absolutely can work. But Barrel is not the worst Pokemon to ever exist. Beautifly is definitely a butterfly. I am interested to see how this goes. Jacob, tell him. Anyway, big deep breath. Oof. Here we go into the unknown depths of the Elite Four. Will, Coda, and Bruno were all no problem at all. Okay. We breezed right past them. Everything was going great. Yeah. This is fine. Yeah, then. Hmm? Yeah, he's... Oh, 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 oh my god. No, because uh, it hits twice and they're uh, both crits, right? It's fine. <laughs> I win these. On wow. The hand, Karen was not as nice. No, I just mean, what if he does any charge move? Oh um, man, that's gonna be a crit oh, too. It's fine. I was safe to fly him. I'm just paranoid. Oh, oh that's my crit. god. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> Machamp was my favorite Pokemon until like, I don't know, halfway through Gen 4's life where Mamoswine edged past Machamp. But I have used Machamp in so many Elite Fours, and I have been the cross chop person getting crit after crit. As soon as I saw Machamp, I knew. It's tough. Oh no. Guys, we're so sorry we got you killed in the first like 15 minutes of having you. We ended up getting out of the battle with no more okay. casualties, but facing Lance with a team of four each is really not, not ideal. ideal to say the least. But Jinx. we walked up to him nonetheless. <laughs> Whether we win or lose here, this is our last battle. He leads with Fiona and Ledian, which we were both like, ha ha ha, Lance, is this all you've got? And then he hits us with the no. Jacob Ooh. was up against his Porygon Z, Rampardos, okay. Licky Licky, Zapdos, and Plusle. And even okay. though it's a pretty stacked team, he was holding his own and getting through them really well. On my end, I was dealing with a Giga impacting Snorlax, which I really had nothing for. I just had to pray wow. for no crits and as many misses as possible. It goes down eventually. And what does he send out next? Palkia. Wow. Oh. I could really use a Salamence <laughs> right about now. This is what we get. We bullied Palkia so much during our journey here. Looking at my it team, I don't have anything Palkia. that can handle Palkia either, except for Mewtwo. Well, and what happens? He gets Spatial Rand crit one shot, turn one. I am in a <laughs> lot of trouble. I took so much time getting past Snorlax that Jacob was already done with his battle, so all he could do was watch this massacre from the <laughs> sidelines. I sent out Dilly Doo to confuse stuff. That is honestly a good strategy for those. Have one person beat the champion quicker. So if the other person's losing Pokemon left and right, one person still won. And we don't have to worry about the other person getting screwed because of the other person's struggles. It might be cheesing it a little bit, but like, it's worth it. Stall him and just try to chip away at him with basically nothing. And my Leech God, scene? was I lucky because if Palkia hit one more crit at any point, Dilly Doo and the run was over. And I was forced to dance on that line for a long time. But eventually, Dilly Doo lands the finishing blow. I was so proud. The pair that we caught so early on and deemed mm -hmm. as death fodder was the one saving us. Wow. We're so sorry for doubting you, Dilly Doo. Thank you for sticking by us and not dying. But that was only half of Lance's yeah, what's team, next? might I remind you. Plap took out his Sand Slash, which stunk. Oh. But Bastiodon came out, tanked Plap's Surf, 
and killed him with metal oh. burst. I was in shock with that one. That was Damn. our second oldest pair. Ever since our Franklins died, Jacob and I wow. both started seeing the Plaps as our star members. Beryl came out and revenge finished the Bastiodon, and Lance's mm -hmm. last Pokemon was big ol' hard-hitting, <gasps> tanky freaking Azumarill. Huge power Azumarill. You don't mess with this thing. Oh my God, it looks ridiculous here. The fact that this is one of the more powerful Pokemon out there, is why that is absolutely just an egg i sent dilly Doo back out because barrel would die immediately and yep. started the chipping game again if that wasn't bad enough azumarill set up the rain and an aqua ring for itself which turned this fight from uh to ah uh, this awful one-on-one -on -one lasted 10 whole minutes i wow. slap him he slaps back much harder and then heals and then i heal but eventually Dilly Do wins the stalling battle and Azumarill goes down. Okay. In an unpredictable turn of events, wow. Dilly Do saved Dilly. us from utter defeat. What an adventure we just oh! went on. Insane encounters, Cray Dilly. insane bullcrap, wow. friends, death, bullying, and the Dilly Doos. <laughs> Thanks for going on this journey with me, Jacob. I quite literally couldn't have done it without you. And a salute to the buddies we made along the way. Ugh. Except you. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done a Soul Link myself, but after watching this, I really want to do one, man. Getting this into any sort of playthrough of any video game with a friend is one of the more fun, fun things you can do if both people get invested. So maybe it's something I have to look into.